Hi there, it's Shell. And Clint. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we had an interesting day today. It was a stocky day. <laughs> we um, didn't have a whole lot to do, and Clint says, Oh, hon, let's go up to Dove Creek, which is like 10 miles in one direction. And... <clears throat> get tags for our new vehicle I'm going to cut this down to four inches on the fold and uh, I said okay we can go do that you know and we get up there and four by five and we get up there and to for him to what is it license his car or whatever and he finds out that his driver's license is expired by about 14 months. <laughs> yeah, so after doing research, you know, of course they can't license it. So we came back home, and I can't find my license. So I had to request a lost or stolen one. So we get back home, and I look it up, and he's got to take his driving tests all over again. That means... I now have a driver's permit, and I have to have adult supervision <laughs> at 51 years old. Yeah, so. So, that means <laughs> Shell cannot be sick until I get my driver's license. <laughs> Which, I take the test, driver's driving test, Monday. Yeah, he had to do his riding test for his permit today, and... The, uh, driving test on Monday so it's been a fun day it's just been a kind of run here run there run everywhere kind of day and the bad thing is I've probably driven well over two million miles yeah but he did good on his test he was kind of worried about it <coughs> and he only missed two two yeah yeah okay so I want to show you guys this real quick um, this one's about five and a half by five and I think that was five and a half four and a half you said four, something, right? four and a half by five and this one is of course that's folded you know so this one's four by ten folded in the center that's why I wanted to use the manila folder but you can use you know double sided paper regular sided paper this is just an idea that came to me you guys know how that is so, I think I'm going to go ahead and make three of them because I want one for each signature. And I'm doing two signatures in one book and two in another, or one in another book. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. Let's do four and a half. Make it a little bit bigger by five. But I thought, you know, since this has a kind of memory, you know, fold, then that might work really well, and it's a good weight. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with, and I'm going to set these to the side, but yeah, we had a really interesting day <laughs> for Clint. Uh, I have to admit, I laughed, because... <laughs> He's just like, oh no, I have to have a permit. But you have to actually go all the way back to the first. Fun, fun. And I dropped my phone yesterday. Oh yeah, he dropped his phone and broke it. Apparently, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't work with the crack screen. So now I don't know what's going on in the world. Yeah, and he uses that for work. Of course. So, we did order him a new phone. <laughs> We're just waiting for it to get here. Yeah, it's been that kind of week. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to put some music paper here. Just go a little bit smaller, I think, than what I need. Because I want that for the background. You know, I love to do the collaging, stuff like that. And, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. <coughs> And it's starting to get hot here, guys. I'm going to be whiny before too long. But we just do not, neither Clint nor I, do well in the heat. No, it's very hard. And, you know, he's 
<clears throat> he's got fibromyalgia and I have other issues, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, the heat's worse than cold. Yeah, heat's truly really bad. But I do have good news. I got actually got to wear my quail. My yeah, unit. I told him that yesterday, that he was able to use his TENS unit, so thank you for the prayers. Yes, thank you. And he still isn't having any issues today, so that's nice. Mm -mm, no, it's a good day. So, yeah, yeah. he's... It was a good day, minus a few... <laughs> yeah, we got to spend the day together, and we got we had to go eat lunch since we had to go down and get my permit. Yeah, so we had to go to Cortez, which is, you know, we went Three miles. 10 miles up north, and then we had to go back, well, 10 miles back home, and then 25 back to... Yeah, it's just been a <clears throat> running day, which, you know, that's normal for us to go long, you know, travel time and everything. But yeah, somehow we missed that his license was expired by a year and some months. And if it goes over a year, then you have to take all your tests over again. And how I never got stopped, because I do have a little bit of a split foot, so <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, I don't know how he never got stopped either. <laughs> got flashed last week. <laughs> yeah, you know, he was blessed, I tell yes. you. <laughs> yes. Could have been <clears throat> a lot worse. But yeah, that's how our day has been. And, you know, just uh, busy, busy. So, he's hadn't been able to do a whole lot on the ink blenders. I think I've told you guys this. So, just please be patient. He will get to them. Yeah, I have wood. I need to recut it, and then I can make the... So I'll probably do that on Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, work Wednesday. I'll probably work on the blanks Thursday, and I'll get some of those carved Thursday. Yeah, so hopefully by Monday or so, some of you guys will be getting notices I am that so sorry. your ink blenders are ready. But I have let a few people know that, sorry... <laughs> Yeah, well, and these that we just had were multiples. You know, we've had several people who ordered once and then came back and wanted more. So we have several multiples that orders that he had to do. So those, of course, take a little bit longer. <clears throat> I'm done, though. Seems like it anyways, yeah. Well, I'm just being so sick. Yeah, both of us being sick and everything. down a week and so much pain didn't help you. Nope. Okay, so what I'm doing is these are they're going to have multiple pockets on top of this. And I just wanted like a background first. Sorry, we're just jabbering, not even telling you what I'm doing. Oh, guys. <laughs> so, you know, these are like a card. And I suppose if you had a card... You could use it here, you know, like a little note card or something. That might work. You know, just kind of think about what you have around. This was just an idea that came to me last night. For some reason, I kept waking up and having to get up until probably, I think I the last time I got up was around 2. And then we woke up around 3.30, I think, yeah, 4, somewhere in there. Four. Oh, it was after 4, so... But yeah, it's just a, <clears throat> but you know, sometimes when I go to bed and I have an idea going through my head, um, you don't sleep very well. <laughs> so, this one I'm not putting anything for the background because I do have that double-sided paper, but and then we're going to add on to this and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay. <coughs> So I'm going to go ahead and use my Uhu glue. Uhu. Uhu. Glue stick. And we're going to glue that down. See if I can make, you know, what was in my head actually <laughs> come to fruition on in my project. Usually, you know, usually I don't have too much problem making it work. Let's see if I can get this here. There we 
to go. It's not too bad. And we'll do this one. And, but yeah, we told the cats would be home all day. Poor cats. <laughs> Clint's Bubba gets really sad when daddy, he's, uh, yeah, he, when daddy leaves. You know, he's one of those, I call it, he, he's a sensitive child. Because <laughs> it does. You, he does. I mean, he gets really he sad. He just bawls. He just cries and cries and cries. Gives daddy a dirty look when he gets home. <laughs> But even, like, I was out sanding blenders yesterday, and he was in the living room crying. Yep. He likes Daddy's attention, you know. 100%. 100%. Okay, so now, you know, these pieces we cut off, I'm going to go ahead and use those. So, let me grab my cutter. And... <clears throat> What I'm going to do is, I just want this to be, you know, kind of smaller than what it is here. So, just kind of go by the size that you're looking at. So, let's see. So, I just want it to be, yeah, like that. So, this was my 5 by 4 and a half, and this I'm cutting down to about 3 and a half square and eventually this will go here so let's go ahead and do that this one let's cut it down to say three by three and a half three and a half yeah will that work yeah let's cut it down to three by three <coughs> that's kind of tiny huh mm. I think I cut it down too, see. too far. <coughs> oh, I'm just gonna well, go like to you a different don't have place. More to cut. Yeah, I know. You're definitely not hurting. Hurt. I got some papers. I got paper. Okay, let me try that again. Okay, let's cut out like half an inch. Uh, you know, you're just gonna use whatever you, you know, whatever size you want to use. Okay, keep it like that. <laughs> uh, sorry. Still have some coughing and stuff. Uh, on this one, you know, I did have a couple of pieces that kind of worked pretty well when I um, did the kit for that um, Shabby Dabby Doodah. And there, it didn't have the lines through it so I'm gonna go ahead and try to use that on these let's just see what I can do you know what let's rip it because I like that <clears throat> but yeah it was just just a fun day Clint and I went and had lunch after he got his test done you know, you think, oh, I'm done with my driving test for the rest of my life. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> oh, sorry, hon. Oh, it's funny. It sucks, but it's funny. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, huh. Didn't have a little. I know. Thank you. Uh -huh. But, yeah, it was just a... Very eventful day today. Well, they were nice down there. They were. She was laughing about it when I told her all that. Yeah, they were laughing. The lady at the restaurant was laughing. My oh, she got a big kick. My out sister of it. was laughing. She says, "How do you know that? Realize that your license is expired? Not know. Well, you never look at it. You know. Well, and what's funny is that we." He has had to use his driver's license several times in the last couple of months. And not one person has said, hey, did you know this was expired last year? <laughs> not one person. Well, and with me driving all the I don't <clears throat> never wear a wallet, have a wallet. I keep it. Yeah, he keeps his wallet in the, in the, checkbook. the checkbook in the car. So I never even look at the stupid thing. So yeah, it was just uh, one of those things, you know. It is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> well, then years, they go by fast. It was a five-year license, and I just flew by, I guess. 
Well, and now here, I don't know if you, you know, where you guys live, but here they don't, um, they don't send you notices unless you request them, you know, like your license is expiring or anything like that. So you have to request them. So when I went in for my uh, lost license, I was able to request a notice, you know, when it was time to renew. <laughs> Live and learn. I tell you. Yeah, so you young ones out there. Pay attention. Pay attention to your license because it's no fun to have to spend all your days having to have a chaperone. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Not quite, but almost. What? And then let's see. Yeah, I think I can make this one work for this one. Yeah, so Clint has to have adult supervision. <laughs> she just started laughing. Make sure you don't drive without adult supervision. <laughs> oh, shut up. Uh, one of our regular places that we go. One of our regular waitresses. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just been that kind of day, and he can't get any messages on his phone, and I tried to go to our, to the website to see, you know, if there was any messages, any way to look at if he's had messages today, and the website's down, so, <laughs> it's been really quiet today. <laughs> well, I'm not used to that. That stupid phone's always going off. So, no telling what we'll have missed when he gets his phone, you know. Because we can check the voicemails. It's the stupid text messaging I can't check. And that's the way everyone gets a hold of me. Because <laughs> they know, don't call him if he's taking a nap. He won't get it. Text him. Yeah, text him. Okay, so, we have those. I do still need one for this. So, what am I going to put on this one? You know what I'll do? I think... Is that one too small? Yeah. I want it a little bit bigger. Ow! Oh, that's cute. And, let's see. So is this one with that one you drew me? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to just kind of make sure that this is going to work. I want it like that, and then about mm -hmm. an inch off. Okay, yeah, about like that, and then we'll go ahead and let's put music paper, I think, on this. Kind of just mix it up, because since, you know, I'm doing um, two in one, and one in the other, then it would be kind of nice to kind of mix it up. So, let's see what I can do here. And it's hot. I feel so hot today. Well, and you know when you, I mean, what's the temp, hun? Oh, it's 85 now. It's 85 it right now, over? and, you know, we don't have central heat and air or anything like that, but. We just have an air, window air. We have a window air, yeah, and I can't, yeah, I can't use that when I'm recording because it's so loud. You guys wouldn't be able to hear me. Okay, so let's do this here. Oh, I get this uh, But still, we're so busy, you know, this these, the, the, this time of year. So, Clint and I are like, yay, it's almost July, which means it's getting closer to winter. <laughs> One of my friends told me, don't wish <coughs> summer away. Yeah. But, you know, it's hard not to when you just don't feel good during the summer. So. Well, I was thinking, I really don't like summer. And I was thinking, well, you know, it was summer <clears throat> day, the first day of summer. And I thought about it, and I was thinking, well, heck, this is the longest light of the year. Then they get shorter. Then the light gets shorter after that. I was celebrating it instead of thinking about the other way. Yeah, oh. so he's like, it's getting closer <laughs> because it's, yeah, the days are getting shorter. Yeah, the days will be getting shorter. Very, very little shorter. <clears throat> That's all right, it's still a celebration. <laughs> That's all right, it's still a celebration. 
Bubba's laying with you? Yeah, just laying with you. Clint's Bubba's laying with him now. Sometimes he'll be upset and not lay with him for a day. But he must be over it. Well, sister was on my lap. But he oh, came up and yeah. he just laid behind me. Yeah, so... You can tell Clint hasn't talked to anyone today because he's talkative. <laughs> that or my pain pill kicked in. It's about uh, your an pain hour. pill could have kicked it, yeah. It might have. It's been about an hour. Okay, so we have these parts. So all you need is the fold apart, then this part, then we're going to do another part, which I can use that smaller pieces of my this, and I want to make that even a smaller pocket. So, and you know, this was my, like I said, this was my idea. So we're just going to kind of play and see what works. What are you going to call this one? I don't know. I was thinking, what's that Russian doll called that? Fits on each other. Hmm. Hmm. I have to look it up. Yeah. I want it to be a little bit smaller than that because I do want the blue showing pretty well. Okay, so I like that. For this one. And actually I want to put it a little bit smaller. I forgot doing this one a little bit different. This one's going to be about two by three and so that's going to go there so let me see if I can get another one for here and for here and I just keep my bag of you know cutoffs and stuff let's see let's do two by three and just see if that will work for all of them Okay, so I think that will work. And then that's what we're going to end up with. So on this one, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put some music paper. Because I already have the dictionary paper and then like a color paper. And so that's what I think I'm going to do here. Uh, as soon as I find my tarot ruler, which is here. And... Okay, so I have one here, that'll work, one here, tear some of that off, it's a little bit too long, uh, do I want to do that though since I have, hmm, <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. And then, um, I just saw logical. It's right there. We'll do this one and this, kind of break it up a little bit, and then this one. I was going to do that, but let's see what else we have. We do have these. You know, these are the ones from Shabby Dabby Doodle that I glued or that I printed out on uh, my paper. Yeah, but I want to use paper. Okay, so let's try this. Let's see if this will work. Just to add some color to this one since I don't have it really for the 
I don't have a lot of color on this one. Okay. <clears throat> bit too wide. It's okay, that's easy fix. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, so now let's go ahead and ink all this. And then we're going to put them together. You know, all you need is mainly the pieces. And then I'll show you how to put them together. And I think this is going to work pretty well. We'll see. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Okay. I love, I'm just using the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. So I'm going to put that one there. one here. I think I'll do this side. I like this side because it's fuller. And we will do some sewing because I really love the look of sewing. Which probably means I need to redo my thread. Yeah, my bobbin and my thread. So I'll have to do that off camera. Okay, so now, let's see. Let's see what else we're going to do. <laughs> let's go ahead and get those glued down. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue this one. You know, you don't have to go through all this, you know, music paper, dictionary paper, whatever. You can just use like scrapbook paper. It doesn't have to be this intricate or this, you know, difficult or whatever, but, but it adds to it. well, it does add to it, and I love using this kind of paper, but if you don't want to, you could just use, you know, just decorative paper for this. Just whatever you want to do. Okay, that one, and then this one. here and I'm going to step away for a little bit and fix my sewing machine because I'm out of bobbin and I'm out of thread on top so I'm going to put some thread in it and then we're going to come back and get these guys finished so I'll be right back okay guys so we're going to start sewing and I wanted some lace down here to act like another little pocket mm. So, let me see what I have in my little lace bucket. <laughs> Doesn't have to be anything, you know. Actually, I kind of like that one. Let's just use that maybe. Maybe a little bit wider. I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe this. Let's see. I have three of them, so. Oh. My <laughs> okay, so let's see where my scissors are. And I do not know have the foggy to do where they I are. have a big mess over oh, here. My black right there. Um call them. Oh here's the I'll use these. Okay, so what I want to do first is I want to add like some type of lace or something here for a little pocket, and we're going to sew this. So it's going to kind of, let me see, let me get my sewing ped pedal over here. Quite down, babe. Yeah, I know, but okay. it doesn't bother me. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sew around this. Do I want to sew around the whole thing? I think I do. Or do I? Yeah, let's, let's do that. And then I want to make sure I get my, you know, eyelid or whatever in there, my little pocket. Flip it around. And then we will put it here. And then, oops. That is such a sweet comment. Uh, you can tell me in a bit. Okay. So that is pretty. I love that. Let's go ahead and trim that if I can using these funky scissors. Yeah, that's cute. that cute and then this will go here but I want to keep this part open so that I can put a tag there and so you know what I should have done that different but that's okay because what I'm gonna do is and I'm going to do a punch let's do the punch first this is just a scallop punch I like the size of it and I thought it was kind of cute There we go. And then this will go here, but let's go ahead and switch that to our straight uh, or straight stitch. And then I'm going to just go here, down, and around, but leaving the side open. I'm trying to decide if I want to. I think I do want to kind of center it. You know, it's not 100% doesn't have to be 100%, I suppose. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to kick you. Okay. Go a bit further. Okay, so we have that, so that piece is attached. So right now we have one, two, and then this will be our third pocket, and we're going to go ahead and glue that on to here. Not glue it, we're going to sew it. So I'm just going to use a, <laughs> I need a bigger table to clean mine off. <coughs> Use that all the way around like that. So, trying to keep it fairly straight there. So this is one of them. So let's go ahead and put the other ones together. So I think what I'm going to do on this one is I want to go ahead and sew the lace on it. 
but I want to use something different. So let's just use this little piece of lace. That's cute. And what I'm going to do this time, though, is I'm going to go ahead and sew on the lace. And then I'll come back and sew the pocket on because I kind of messed up on the other one. Which is fine, you know, you can do it however you want. But let's go ahead and do a zigzag here for the lace. And this is a perfect way to use up your scraps because, you know, a lot of times you have just little tiny pieces of lace that you think, oh, I can't use that for anything, but you could certainly use it for this, you know. Again, we'll go on this, but we want to punch a hole or punch a like a thumb hole here. And then I am going to kind of center this and we're going to go all the way around. We're just going to go top and around. So let's go ahead and do that and see, see how well I can do there. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to kick you. We have a spot here, spot here, spot there, and we're going to center this and go around the three sides to make a pocket here. And I didn't refill my bobbin because I'm hoping it has enough thread, but you know, my luck it won't. But we're going to try it and see. this one. How pretty is that? Isn't that pretty? Yes. Oh. oh wow. I love how that looks. Okay, we have one more, so let's see what we want to do here. Um, if I put lace here, it's going to kind of cover it up. I don't know that it really matters. But, so let's just go ahead and put a little bit of lace there. Ooh, let's just do this little guy. Because he's cute. And by he, I mean this piece of lace. <laughs> I am weird, but you know, you love me and that's all that matters. I, I, <laughs> I think I'm going to sew this one on with a straight stitch, my lace. Because I will come back pretty much and do a zigzag part of it. Okay, I want to kind of pull that taut. 
Come on, you can do it. Uh oh. that is. Isn't that pretty? Love that. And it did cover up that crow, but you know, that's not specifically something that I had that I felt like we had to keep, so that'll be fine. And again, let's do our punch here. And then we will sew this on. How cute is that? I love it. Okay, so back to a zigzag. I love doing zigzags on my, you know, on the paper. I think it just adds such a beautiful touch. Kind of just a decorative touch. Yeah, it's just, it just really adds a lot, I think. You know, if you wanted to and you didn't want to do a zigzag or whatever, you could certainly just glue them down and not do the sewing. I personally love the sewing. So. So do I. <laughs> so does Clint. Like straight stitch. <laughs> Well, that's all yours off. Of so. course, that's all I got is a straight stitch. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and sew this. And hope that we have enough thread on our oh, bobbin. Oh, make it. On our bobbin. what I'm thinking. Yeah, but I said it first. So <laughs> uh, what I have to deal with. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we got that. Isn't that pretty? I love that. I think that is so pretty. And then, just to kind of show you guys, we would have like a tag here. And I still have to make all my tags. But I do also have a lot of tags that um, are in the um, kit, you know, that I'm using. So we would have like a tag here. And then we'd have a tag here. So it's going to be kind of like a multiple tagged um, piece. And then, let me show you what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and do it. <laughs> let me go ahead and do this for you guys. So, um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one of these into my single signature book. And then, I think I'll put these two into my double signature book. So, let me just kind of go ahead and show you how I would put them in. So, I'm going to have one in this book. I love these. It's just coming together so pretty. Um, maybe like on this big old, yeah, on that blue, that'd be pretty. Or maybe even like over here. That's kind of pretty. What do you guys think? Oh, and let's see, where's my blue? Did I add my blue in? Here it is. Look at this dark blue. Isn't that pretty? Maybe I'll add it there. Uh, 
Ooh, I'm adding that there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, uh, this one has something in it. You know, it always, it never fails that when you're using the, um, the fold, you're always going to come up, up on something that you, um, the writing, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this down as soon as I find my cutter again. Everything's hidden over here now. Just have to pile everything together. So let's go ahead and just cut this down about four and a half or so, I think. And totally crooked. <laughs> totally crooked. <laughs> There we go, that looks nice. And then just cut off about an inch or so. And I'm going to go ahead and just line this whole piece with coffee dyed paper. Yeah, super simple. So, and then we'll put it into our book. Let's see, where's my glue stick? I tell ya, all of a sudden I just put everything over here and it's just scattered everywhere. hear it. Okay, and my glue book. We'll just glue this down to cover that up and then it kind of covers up a little bit of the sewing as well. The sewing doesn't really bother me as long as there's not that big, you know, spot that has the information of the <laughs> file folder is not going to bother me, but I definitely want to cover that up. So I'm just going to kind of gingerly lay that here. I hope I get a pretty good seal. <coughs> have any fabric scissors. I mean, not fabric, the other one. Oh, there's the black. Right. Yeah, I'm just going to trim it just a little bit. It's Clint's fabric scissors, but you know. There we go. Wasn't perfect, and I really want it to look nice. <coughs> and then on this one, I'm just going to leave it plain that because I think you could write there and if they didn't want to <coughs> sorry they could put coffee dyed paper or something on it uh, let me find a pen for my art glitter glue and then we're gonna finish these up I'll be right back okay so I got a, another pen I used a different type the other day and it would kept not going in there and then I had to use pliers and when I used the pliers I pulled the head off of it because it was stuck in there so hard. Anyway, it's just a funny story. <laughs> okay, so this one is going to go here. And what I'm going to do is just go along the sides and the bottom. And my thought is... I'm going to put it as close to that side as I can. <clears throat> And my thought is, we're going to have enough weight in here so that this will keep it closed. So, whoever gets this can open this up, write in it, journal, and just close it. And then we'll have a tag here, tag here, tag here, and a tag here. So, we're going to call this one, what, nesting? Pockets? Nest, nesting pockets, like the, nesting, like the dolls. nesting dolls. So Clint came up with the saying, nesting pockets. Isn't that cute? Because you have a smaller, goes small all the way up to big. So that's that one. Look how big these are getting. This is one signature. And then the other one will go in here. I don't think I 
I got one of them in the same place. <coughs> so that's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. <laughs> okay, we're going to do the same thing. And on the blue, it just looks nice. And you're not taking away any journaling spots. You'll have plenty, you know, with the added tags and stuff. And then when we're done, I'll show you guys the tags. I probably won't do a bunch of tags. I might do some on camera. I haven't really decided. But then, yeah, she just opens it. She can write in here or put pictures or whatever. And then there will be a tag here, tag here, tag here, and tag here. And it's such a good weight, and it'll have so much weight, you know, additional weight, that it will just weigh it down to keep it closed. So I think these turned out super cute. I wasn't really sure. You know, I had an idea, but uh, <clears throat> I wasn't 100% sure how they would turn out. I just thought... I was telling Clint, I want to add, you know, all these pockets. And he's like, holy cow, girl. <laughs> he didn't say that, but, you know, pretty much the gist of it. But I think they turned out so cute. And I love that, you know, I'm going to have pockets or tags with little uh, ribbon or something in them. And I think they turned out really cute. <coughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.